welcome back to another video with Paris Monet. In today's video, we will be going over how much everything costs, how much I spent, and this is um, as accurate as I could get it. I'm sure I probably spent a little bit more because there's different receipts that I just was not going back looking for. Um, like, and that just comes like with the miscellaneous stuff, but I got the main things to give y'all a main amount estimate of how much you need to have um you know for surgery but before i get started don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below if you're new here thank you for watching and if you're not new here thank you for tuning back in so y'all will see me looking over here because i am looking at my computer with all my notes like i said i went back and tried to get as much um numbers that i could for you guys um, and I will be putting in a screenshot of, as well of my numbers from the center. Um, and don't mind all that stuff on my shelves back there. <laughs> so let's start off with surgery. Surgery cost. Now, I will say this number is subject to change because I found the doctor that I wanted to use and I stalked him, y'all. Stalked him, okay? The surgery center page, his page stalked him until I got until a sale came that worked for me, okay? Now, he was doing BBLs for $6,000 just recently. Um, it was $6,000 and now he has a sale out for, I think it's like 4,500 or something like that. But I caught my deal, um, Valentine's Day special, which was February of this year. And it was for $4,050. And that was for 12 areas of liposuction, lipo 360, and a BBL. Like right now, the deal he has for $4,500 is only for lipo. You get what I'm saying? Or he has one, I think, don't quote me, for $4,000 for just the BBL. I caught a deal for both for $4,050. So this is why I say do your research find a good surgeon and stalk him and wait for those deals because they're definitely there and they're possible everyone's like oh my god i don't need four thousand dollars yet four thousand dollars four four forty fifty i should say let me not just say four thousand dollars forty fifty for my specific people okay now um the surgery was forty fifty now the things that you have to Every surgery center is different. With my surgery center, Body Aesthetic Center, they make you um, purchase three, minimum, three massages, um, and then they make you purchase a Faja, the, your initial Faja fa from them. I will say the Faja is, uh, what I don't wanna say they get you, but they get you with the Faja, cause the Faja is trash, but they make you buy it from them. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's just their preference. That doesn't mean they're a shitty sensor because they make you buy a Faja from them that's shitty. No, but I'm just gonna be straight up honest. The Fajas that my sensor gives out or makes you purchase, I should say, are trash. Now, some surgery centers, um, you know, give packages like, oh, they give you such and such amount of um, massages and a Faja for free with your package, which, or they'll have that included with the cell saver with your package, which is great, um, but they're also probably charging a lot more for the procedure. So that's something to take into account. Um, and don't just go looking for a surgery center because of a surgery package that's included. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't let that be the reason you choose a surgery center or a doctor. Um, because if it's worth it to pay for it separate because of a good doctor, I'd rather do that than go to a doctor that has it all included and he, he fucks my body up. So just throwing that out there. Um, but my surgery center, as I was saying, they make you purchase minimum three massages and the Faja from them. So the Faja... And um, the massage, the Faja is 120. The massages, three of them, is 250. Um, now, another thing that is required is the day of pre op, you have to take a pregnancy test, drug test, and a um, nicotine test. Now, those three tests and your cell saver have to be paid the day of pre op. Again, this is just my surgery center. I don't know how other surgery centers do it, but my surgery center makes you pay for those three things and your cell saver um, pre-op, which I will throw in there that the cell saver at my surgery center is required. Some surgery centers don't um, require it. They just make you pay for it after if you use it or they either make you, I don't know if they make you pay before or after, but 
it's a by it you know case case by case thing at my center no matter what if you're having lipo if you're having bbl you have to pay for the um cell saver now my assumption is if they end up not using it they would return your money but um from what i understand no matter what they always use it um and if you want to make sure they use it you can always request your medical records which i have as well uh, but at so with the nicotine test, the HCG test, and the drug test, and the cell saver, the day of pre-op, I paid seven hundred dollars, including the one twenty for the faha, and then um, the three massages, the two fifty, they allowed me to pay that the day after surgery. But the things that had to be paid for the day before surgery was the faha, the three tests, and the cell saver. Um, my next expense was my massages outside of the surgery center. So as you guys saw in a previous video, I go to Exuberant Beauty Spa and they have a uh, package where it's six massages for uh, 360. And um, so far we've done two of those packages. So two of those packages is $720. Um, and I still have three massages left of my second package and again think about it guys i'm only uh i'm only a month post-op that's six massages 12 i've purchased um three of them i haven't done so that's nine massages i've gotten outside the surgery center and then three massages that i got with them so that's still 12 massages that i've had in a month span and in between i'm still um you know, doing my own massages. Now I will say a bulk of those 12 massages were done in the initial first two weeks. The farther out I got, the more I started spacing my appointments because I also get cavitation now and that they don't recommend to do, you know, so close behind each other. So now those massages are more spaced out and in between I do my self massages. Now I did go through my Amazon as best as I could um, and if you guys want to see my Amazon BBL supply list I will have that video tagged down below as well but um, so the essentials I did it like two separate amounts the essentials when I say essentials I mean like um, melt away pills, hemoplex, uh, pads, um, you know uh, chucks, uh, diapers, stuff like that bbl pillow the essential essentials all that stuff from what i could gather receipts from came up to 446 dollars 88 now miscellaneous supplies and when i say miscellaneous supplies i'm talking about pillows to sleep um water bottles knee pads i brought a um blood pressure machine that I have not even, okay, I used once, but I haven't even used. Little random stuff like that that I bought after the fact. Um, that all totaled up to like 105.29, and that's just for receipts that I did find on Amazon. Um, so total cost with everything that I just mentioned was $6,652.17. Now, again, that is just an estimate. And I say that because with my supplies, I've bought so much stuff here and there, um, seamless tank tops, um, you know, this, just random stuff that I've bought that I just it just was too much to go back and try to find the little receipts and how much and add up all that. So that's why I say this is just an estimate of what I've spent, like the main important things, the big things, in total, I say it again, it was $6,652.17. Um, so when it comes to that price, the main things you wanna hone in on is how much your surgery is, how much your faha is gonna be, how much any tests or anything you have to have done at the center is gonna be, and your supplies and your post-op massages. Those are the biggest things you wanna focus on and you want to um, map out ahead of surgery if you're trying to figure out how much you need to have for surgery. Now, 99% um, of surgery centers take uh, different credit cards. So you could also do your surgery on credit, which will save you money, but not save you money really, um, which I kind of explained in one of my previous videos. That is a whole preference thing. Um, for me, I did not use any kind of credit card or anything like that. And the way I thought about it was, is like, boom. For me to try to get approved for one of those, I'm getting a hit to my credit. Not only that, and yeah, I don't have to pay for it out of pocket right now, but I'm still paying 
for it and paying more with interest and everything like that on the credit card. And as I said in my last video, they always charge you more. So I would, my surgery would not have been $4,050 if I used one of those credit cards. Off rip, it would have been an extra $1,000, $2,000 more because I was using, if I used one of those credit cards. So that's something to keep in the back of your mind. If you're gonna do a procedure on credit, they're going to upcharge you and that's just because you're using a credit card. I mean, that's just how it goes. Um, so that's something to think about. But for me, it was smarter. I knew what I needed. I knew how much I had to have. I knew my job was giving out bonuses for picking up shifts. I knew exactly how much I did the math. I knew exactly how many shifts I had to pick up and all kinds of stuff. And I just did that, picked up my extra shifts, worked my ass into the ground basically for my new ass. So, <laughs> um, and again, that was a decision that I made because I didn't want to have to worry about the credit aspect of, of everything and being charged interest on it and all that other stuff. So, like I said, that's mainly up to you to decide um, how you want to pay for your procedure. But 99% of, you know, p places take Alfan credit card, care credit, things like that. Or you could just do like I did and work extra shifts and pay for it in cash. That is truly up to you. Um... Yeah, so I think that's it when it comes to pricing. Like I said, do your research when it comes to your center. These are prices based off the off of my surgery center. Every surgery center charges different prices for different things and all kinds of stuff. So you make sure that before you, when putting, like, okay, if you choose your doctor and you put down a deposit, you make sure you map out all this stuff. It would be nice to map it out beforehand, but sometimes you can't. So you make sure you map all this stuff out so you know exactly what you have to have. You know exactly, okay, and it, like for another thing too that I wanna point out, I am lucky enough to live in Florida. I live 40, 30 to 45 minutes with no traffic in an hour and a half maybe with traffic from my surgery center. So I didn't need a recovery home. I didn't need a nurse because I have my mom and my sister. These are things you also need to make sure you're factoring in. If you're coming from out of state and you're not bringing a family member, you need a nurse or you need somebody. If you're bringing a family member, okay, you don't have to pay for a nurse, but you still gotta pay for hotels. You still gotta pay for a driving service or factor in Ubers. You still also need to factor in if you're staying in a recovery home. Some people choose recovery home over hotels. Some people choose hotels over recovery home. That is solely up to you. But again, make sure you factor all of these prices in because everything matters. You don't wanna get here and you didn't bring enough money or you don't have enough money or whatever the case may be, make sure you know what you're going to need money for, okay? Um, those me, like I said, luckily, those were expenses I didn't have, recovery home, hotel, nurse. Uh, I didn't have any of those expenses because I live right here in Florida. But if you're coming from out of state, those things are very, very important. And another thing when it comes to recovery homes, my surgery center has like certain instructions when it comes to if you're using a cert of recovery home and all this other stuff. So make sure you get a list of approved recovery homes from your center and a list of instructions. Or, and most centers have a list of, excuse me, hotels that are close to them, different things in their area that they know people will need coming out of town. So I can't stress this enough. Do your research, make sure you have all your numbers as in order as you can. Of course, things change. Of course, unexpected expenses come up, but you wanna have an idea, a ballpark. By the time I'm done, I, I honestly feel like you'll never really be done pouring money into your body once you get your body done. Because like, yeah, I'll probably stop paying for massages, but then I'll turn to cavitation, you know, for the extra skin. So that's still more money being put in my body. Um, down the line you know what i'm saying and all kinds of stuff so or you know whatever else i decide to do or things like that or any little fire how you buy so like you're always going to continue to put money into your body down the line but the bulk of what you, you want to know what amount you need for that initial like first month you know when it comes to like paying for your massages ahead of time and fahas and all that good stuff um you can price out fajas and buy your faja ahead of time. I didn't buy any fajas ahead of time because I didn't know what the hell my body was going to look like. I needed to feel it out and see what, you know what I'm saying? So that is a decision, again, you can choose to make. Um, 
whether it's buying it before or after, but you want to factor that in as well. Um, you can find Fajas on um, Amazon for like $40, $90, all different prices. But if you're going to one like a like Pretty Girl Curves or uh, Snatched and Snatch Curves and all that, you're going to pay over $150, $160 for a Faja. So just keep little things like that in mind. Um, and just make sure you have some extra money. Always make sure you have a reserve of extra money because like I said, unexpenses come up, things happen, and you don't want to be left short. But I think that is it, you guys. Um, if I miss anything, please drop the questions down below. If you guys have any any other questions of anything I didn't mention, drop those down below. As I said, this is just an estimate of what I spent, um, of the major things I spent and how much it was. Uh, as always, thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next video.